Hey guys, so I got a new mic and I thought I would take you guys through a glute focused leg day and like give you guys cues and why I do what I do. So we're starting with some squats with a barbell and I'll give you guys some cues like while I'm doing it. So I always do all of my squats or anything where I put a lot of weight through my legs barefoot, flat surface the better and I always start with just the weight of the barbell so I can warm everything up if you didn't know the barbell is about 45 pounds and there's no shame if you just use the barbell your whole workout and wherever your feet like your stance during your squat depends on who you are I like to have mine a little bit wider with my toes pointed out because it doesn't hurt my knees and I'm a tall girl and I always breathe in through my nose going down and out through my mouth coming up. Now, I don't do squats very often, so I don't do a ton of weight. So we're only gonna do probably 25 on each side today. And that'll do it, donkey. I also just don't like squatting super heavy because it goes to dance and my hips will be hurting if I do too much weight. So now these are called my working sets and basically I'm gonna do three more sets of about eight to 10 reps with probably about 45 to 60 seconds of rest in between. When you squat, you want all of your weight to be in your heels to where you can basically pick your toes up off the ground. You never want any weight in your toes. Now we're going into barbell deadlifts. I never do them with the barbell. Using dumbbells is just as good. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. I always put it on the little catches and I take all the weight off whenever I load it and then I'll add on weight whenever I'm ready. Same thing here, I'm gonna do the barbell first just to warm up my hamstrings and get ready for them. So they're just like right outside of your leg. Okay, and then for these, you are going to have your back super, super, super straight. And you're gonna think about sending your booty to the wall behind you. And the barbell is gonna stay super close to your shins. And then you pull it back up. Since I'm not doing super heavy weight, you don't have to do the grip that you see a lot of people do, where it's like one underhand, one on top. I don't do that much weight, so doing them both with your knuckles facing forward is just fine. Same thing here, I'm gonna do about 10 to 12 reps. If you ever feel an arch in your lower back, that means you're doing it wrong and you need to do lower weight. just be sitting like this in the gym. I added 10 pounds on each side and we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. I never do these so they're making me sweat quite a lot. <sighs> this is also a really good core exercise because your core is on fire the whole time. I need to stop talking because I can't focus. Step in a hip thrust. I love this machine because I quite literally can't be bothered to set up my own barbell. And same thing here, I'm 100% already warm, but I just like to do everything without weight first just to make sure everything's in the right spot. And for these, head is forward the entire time because if you lay your head back, you can really hurt your dick. With most exercises you do for glutes or your legs at all, weight is always in your heels, never in your toes. Now adding some weight onto the machine, 45 on both sides. I'm out of breath. For these, I like to do 60 to 90 seconds rest in between because these be hard. If you have this machine or you do normal barbell hip thrust, you want your hips to be to in where half of like your butt is off of the bench and you want to make sure that you are literally actively pressing your lower back into the pad so there's no arch. Back arch with most glute exercises equals injury. This one will have you questioning your existence because it's quite literally will take your breath away. So what you're gonna do, this is a hamstring curl, seated hamstring curls. What you do, do like a moderate eight, so not too light, not too heavy. And what you're gonna do is seven reps, and then you're gonna rest for seven seconds, seven more reps until you, until failure. These are great, but they also suck. They also make you feel really good afterwards. So here we go. And then we rest for seven seconds. And then we go again. Just when you think you can't do any more, do one more set. It's when the Air Max Pros come in handy because you can turn on the noise cancellation and you zone right in. Out. This is what failure looks like. And then you push for one more. Okay, so 
So normally I would end this workout doing hip abductions and adductions, but the machine is broken, so we're going right into abs. I don't do abs very often, but when I do, I like to use this machine because it's easy and quick. I do probably like four sets of 10 of these. What? I said, you're doing them with me. So while Jack does his set, I do a wall sit until he's done. Because like I said, my abduction and adduction machine is broken. So this will have to do. I wait for him to start and then I just hold it until he's done. Here we go. While we're here, have you guys found all the secret letters yet to the giveaway password? Let me know. Don't spoil it for anybody, but I want to know if you can guess it yet. It probably ends up being a total of like a minute that I hold this because Jack does center and then he like does his obliques too. <sighs> These are great for like your stabilizer muscles and also your mental endurance because you can like keep push yourself to keep going when you feel like not doing it anymore. Okay. okay, now we are gearing up to do about 10 to 15 minutes of cardio. I hardly ever run. Well, I've started doing sprints like once a week, but I always do low impact cardio. So about 10 to 15 minutes incline walk on the treadmill. Chef's kiss. There's a lot of research about doing low impact cardio and your hormones. And also it's the best to do it at the end of your workout because that's optimal for fat loss. 10, 15 minutes, I read my book. We're good to go. I'll show you what book I read. This month we are reading The Power of Now by Ed Milet. Love it. I love this podcast and his book is also super good. Just puts you in a good mindset, you know. Alright, now we are going to go sit in the sauna for about 10 minutes. I meditate in there, but I have to switch my headphones because I don't want to mess up my AirPods. I'll show you the meditation I'm doing today. We are doing this one I just found on Spotify because your girl's been in her head the past couple days just from being busy. So this is one we're doing. Mm -hmm. 